Welcome back to Sushi Cat. More like Sushi Fat, am I right? Am I right? No, never mind. Coconuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. That bounce did not go high and tend to at all. I also don't know what this sushi is, so I'm going to go get it. Yarn ball! Yarn ball! Hooray! Sushi Cat follows the yarn. Also, if I had known what that was, I could have used it more effectively, but yeah. You want to trail him back up to gather sushi. And try to let him... You basically want to make him go as high as possible. Depending on the route you can go, so he gets as much sushi as he can, of course. That way he gets fat. I'm also just noting how long cat this long cat is over here. He's not really fat. He's got a bit of a tummy over here, but... Well, I guess he's got a great big deal of tummy. It's just very vertically oriented, which is very odd. Hooray. Level 6. The world's a little shorter this time now, aren't they? Look at how happy these hills, hills are. I couldn't think of what hills are for a second there. Though this one's all like, hey, you're all like smushing me with your fatness. Or his somethingness. See, he's all squished around the edges there. Sort of like sushi cat is. Go in here, yes. More. No! Yes! See that? Squirshing mechanic there. That's very effective at making Sushi Cat not get stuck. It's very nice, actually. Extreme Cat! I think that's the first time we've got that one. Or it's the first time I noticed, anyway. It is quite extreme, obviously. Like that extreme bounce was. So let's get some bonus sushis. Wait, sushi plural on its own? I think it is. Oh, no, sushi. Let's get some salmon eggs or whatever this crap is. Um, let's fail at getting that salmon egg. Salmon eggs nest. Looks kind of like red jello, actually. I know it's not. <laughs> Cat in every box! Oh, hey! Extremely fat cat bonus! And cat in every box. I did not know that was a bonus. But it apparently is, and it's fairly self explanatory. So let's go to, um. Tiki Totem Land or something. I don't know what these things are all about. They look like marshmallows, though, don't they? It's frickin'. They look like Marshy from, um. If you watch, what's it called? Homestar Runner. Look at that guy. He looks like the uh, Dracula Marshmallow. From, um... Yeah, from Homestar. If you had no idea what I'm talking about, you can just search Homestar Runner. Very funny little comedy thing. Though it's... It, it works in fits and starts. They haven't... They've added, like, two cartoons and... Literally a full year. They used to do them basically weekly. They've gone through a couple of cycles of doing that on and off over the past. Since I've been in middle school, for Pete's sake, it's been a long time. I started watching those in like, what? Early 2000s. 7th or 8th grade, it's been a long freaking time. It's as old as the internet, as they say. That was back when I had dial-up. Yeah, that, that was, those were fun times. It took, it took a couple of minutes to load the character intros, which were about 20 seconds. Just actually loading a single cartoon. It took a few minutes. It was not pleasant. It was very not pleasant, and I'm feeling I got a sneeze coming on. Kind of. Is that coming out, though? I'm 
it's very distracting. And I wish it would either make up its mind or not. I looked it up on the light. If you look up at lights when you're trying to sneeze, sometimes you don't. It's a very odd little thing. It's true, though. Try it. Look at a bright light when you're about to sneeze. You might not, or something. Or maybe you will. Look at that little guy bounce. Ow! Ow! I got inverted! That looked incredibly painful. Oh, fail! How did I not get that? Okay, this, no problem. That, pure luck. Let's hope for the best. Oh, fail. Oh, hey, look, it's a gigantic, very happy picket fence. That one's giving me winky eyes. Who does he think he is? Well, look how fat you are, Mr. Sushi Cat. Hamsters running around in circles! Stupid Mr. Volcano! Stop that. Even the other big cat is all scared. We can... Please don't tell me you're going to plug the volcano with your butt. That is never a good idea. The volcano looks all pissy now. Well, let's go plug the volcano with our butt. Because that's how Sushi Cat rolls. Get it? Because he rolls. Wasabi Quake! Oh, that was thoroughly useless. As you can see, the Wasabi Quake makes jets of air that push you up, but I was already stuck up and I didn't... I got one more sushi than I would have otherwise, but... Ow, Squirsh! Squirsh! It's the year of the Squirsh. There we go. Extreme Cat! My voice did not want to make that extreme voice. Full belly achieved in two goes. This level's pretty easy. Eight bonus sushi. Nope, snap. The thing I don't like about this level is that at this point, it's basically luck. Unless you, like, maybe hardcore plan out your trajectories and stuff. The Wasabi Quake would help a lot, but I already wasted that. Oh, one thing I already know, but I've forgotten to note it, or forgot to note. If you try to fling Sushi Cat at the start, I think you just drop straight down. Extremely Fat Cat. Let's try and fling Sushi Cat. See, he just drops straight down. Which, when I first played, I was grateful of that, because I was actually using my multi-touch screen. Which, you know... I'll show you. Your cursor can just warp completely around. So if that added velocity to your throw, it would have messed up the throw completely. But it suddenly just drops, so that wasn't a problem. Yum. That looks painful, Sushi Cat. You have an incredible fortitude. I envy you, sir. I truly do. I'd go so far as to say Sushi Cat is my hero. Except I don't particularly... Enjoy sushi. I don't think I would particularly enjoy being gargantuanly fat, but... Being a cat? Actually, I'm not sure I'd enjoy either, but... Cats are adorable, so... I envy him for that, I suppose. I mean, look at how cute he is. He's all, like, happy kitty face. Happy kitties do tend to have a happy kitty face. It's almost ironic in a non-ironic way. It's ironic in that completely suspected way that some people occasionally classify as irony, but it really thoroughly is not. And the game is slowing down. Is it just me, or is it way slower than it's supposed to be? It's probably my computer's fault, though, so I apologize. Full belly, my belly. Full. Which is good, because I just ran... Oh, I still have one more live left. Wait, how did I miss you? Didn't I go through this? I apparently did not. Whatever, though. Um, hurry it up, Sushi Butt. Let's lower the quality and see if it... 
the other that that out. Full belly. Delicious. Um I guess we're in the caldera, is that it? Of the volcano. We seem to have gone inside and there's some liquid heart magma. Ooh, and there's a wasabi thingy. Come here. No. No, that's not no. Well, let's try again and get that wasabi quake, shall we? Wasabi. Oh. Pfft. Let's go down more this way. No. Bad sushi cat. Sushi cat. We need to have a talk, sir. Actually, I suppose I should be talking to physics, not sushi cat. Physics. Why do you do this to me? It's almost like your predefined set of laws that operate constantly. It's quite annoying, sir. Also, I've wasted all of my cats going after this, this wasabi, not even bothering with the sushi I need to get. So I'm very stupid and I fail because of that, so let's reset. I still want that wasabi quake, but... Nah, screw it, I'm getting that wasabi quake. Screw everything. Screw you, sushi cat, I'm getting that wasabi cake. Wasabi quake. Get it, no! Well, let's try here. No! Bad. Good. No. Wait. No! Bad sushi cat. Come on, if you get the wasabi quake, you will have more sushi. This benefits both of us. There you go, buddy. Wasabi quake. Ha. Ah. Smells like wasabi and earthquake. Well, that didn't help as much as I thought it would. I still got like 40% of my belly left to fill. And I fail at doing that. Yes. Actually, that wasn't horrifyingly bad. Could have been worse. I could have done worse. I excel at doing worse, actually. Ah, oh, crap. Like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Yeah, full belly. Look at that jiggling full belly. It's like a freaking marshmallow of fatness. It's like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Except, you know, I've honestly never seen that movie. I've never seen any Ghostbusters movie. That looks so painful. But Sushi Cat just grins and bears it, because he's a fat kitty cat. Cat. He's a kitty cat. I need fats, 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 and fat, fat, fats. Is this the final level? Well, there's no indicate. Wait. Level 12, that should be it. So let's finish this off. It's like demon horns. On this freaking volcano, he's all like angry, angry kitty face. Or sad kitty face. It's kind of hard to tell. His eyes look like he's gonna like ball or something though. Poor Mr. Volcano. I'm going to help you by clogging you with my gargantuan ass. Sounds unfortunate, but it's, trust me, it's all for the best, buddy. It's all for the best. Also, why do you fail me, Sushi Cat? I want that wasabi quake. Oh, he got the full belly. He also got fat. He also got stuck. Oh. No wasabi cake for me. I said wasabi cake again. That sounds thoroughly undelicious. Doesn't it? That was a terrible score. It's like 1% of my freaking score. There you go. Clog that volcano with your ass, sir. He's all determined. Ha ha! Clogged. Pfft. And now the fat, the other cat is clogging the volcano for some reason. Sushi Cat 2 coming soon. This was apparently not Sushi Cat 2. So this has been Sushi Cat The Honeymoon, which is apparently not Sushi Cat 2, it's Sushi Cat 1.5 or something. And I'm not going to log into Armor Games, because I don't have an account there.
I probably should, but whatever. This has been Sushi Cat, you should play it. If you have an iPhone, you can probably get the... It's probably a demo. I would highly recommend getting it. Oops. That's not the stop recording button.